Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about terms and conditions such as those that we often see when we attempt when we try to register um, on any website or on a social network or any anywhere on the internet. Uh, this question was asked to me by Susanna uh, and Susanna this is my response to your question uh, I'll try my I try to provide my opinion on uh, what do I think about this situation and what what would be the what would what we could see in the future okay so let's start uh, terms and conditions uh, whenever you register for any online account you would have to accept or decline these conditions uh, which the company or the service provider puts puts forward in most of the cases uh, I believe uh, people never read it because it is just too time-consuming um, if you can imagine uh, reading all those uh, terms and conditions so what I did was I just downloaded a couple of such terms and conditions just to see how long they are and to my surprise it went into thousands of words so some one of one of those was 10 to in the range of 10 to 12 and in the extreme case was around even at 30,000 words that is equivalent to reading a novel so who is going to spend time reading these 30,000 words just to decide whether or not to accept and use the service so in most cases I guess uh, people just accept um, and they they believe that the companies are doing the right thing um, and there would not be any unacceptable sort of clauses within these uh, within these conditions so uh, in short what I believe is customers or users like us we do not have any choice uh, we are not going to uh, go and negotiate with the service provider that I do not accept this clause or I'm not happy with this because we only have an option to accept it as it is without making any changes to it so as far as the users go they have the they can either accept or reject and go and find some other um, other website that provides a similar service however when a user approaches another website they are again again find a similar set of terms and conditions so the problem is, is there it's not going anywhere with switching a service provider uh, or switching a service provider so the next thing is I want to talk about is does that provide an opportunity can this be used as as a competitive advantage by new and upcoming uh, services uh, on the internet so it could be possible that a new startup explains their terms and conditions in a very simple way something that a normal person like you and me uh, could understand they would still have their detailed um, terms and conditions that their legal team would have made it but uh, a small uh, set of but the same thing could be explained in a much simpler way in a lay in a layman's term for people people to understand uh, and to know how uh, how their data uh, how their information could be used by these companies what kind of security measures are there in place that to ensure that their data is safe uh, and that would not lead to identity theft and so on uh, with the recent launch of the GDPR regulation it is also it would change a lot of these things uh, in my opinion this is because uh, you as a user are the owner of the data about yourself so that is what uh, GDPR tries to uh, uh, enforce or uh, makes the companies legally uh, bound to so in the future I believe there may be situations where uh, companies could use this towards their uh, competitive advantage uh, offering um, simple terms and conditions and offering the user the opportunity to negotiate how uh, these conditions uh, could be applied to them it could also be a case that uh, a startup could just come into the picture that only helps with this negotiation uh, amongst the end users and the 
um, and, and the service provider. So it is a very difficult question um, to answer as to whether uh, we should accept or reject or decline these conditions uh, um, right away or we should give a thought about it read it and in the end what are the critical uh, problems that users would face as a result of using such a system so if their data is hacked it directly impacts the uh, directly impacts the uh, the user or um, or any other challenges that uh, users might think that they would be uh, exposed to so in short uh, terms and conditions are here to stay uh, it is a kind of an agreement between the service provider and the user on how they expect each other to behave uh, or interact on a particular platform uh, that uh, the users would be are going to use to uh, will be using it also provides new opportunities for startups to come into this space by offering innovative services uh, such as the one that I mentioned about uh, negotiating specific uh, terms and uh, clauses within the contract for a particular users uh, for a particular user so I hope uh, Susanna I have answered your question um, if you have any further uh, suggestions for me to talk about please feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to um, answer those. Thanks again. Bye.